What's up guys? So the two other Ahsoka sets have been revealed by LEGO for this year and in this video we'll be taking a look at them. So the first setup is the New Republic Ewing vs Shin Hati Starfighter. This set's going to retail for $110 and it comes with 1056 pieces as well as 5 minifigures. 5 minifigures seems to be fair enough for this price point and those 5 minifigures are Balin Skull, Shin Hati, Morgan Elsbeth, Captain Porter, and a New Republic Astromech Droid. So overall, all the figures look pretty good. I would say my only real complaint is that Morgan's lower dress part should have maybe had some printing on it. I think it looks a little plain. Also, I'm kind of disappointed that the lightsabers aren't orange, or at least a little bit of a different color, because in the trailers you can clearly tell they are not red, they're like a orangey red. The pilot looks really great. And the astromech, which I've never thought I'd say this, but actually looks really cool. Like it's a very fun color scheme. And I'm actually kind of excited to get this one. But overall, pretty good selection, pretty well detailed, and not a bad amount for the price point. Moving on to the ships, we have the Ewing and Shin Hati Starfighter. Now the Ewing is exciting because this this ship has been around for a long time, but it's never been made in Lego. I think this was a great design for the Ewing, and I also really like the colors on it. The blue and white I think looks really great. One thing to mention that hasn't been around as much lately is this ship does have a landing gear, which is great to see come back because Lego really hasn't been using retractable landing gears in their sets lately, which is really unfortunate because it's a really nice addition. It looks like there's two stud shooters hidden right below the cockpit. They don't hurt the look or design of the ship in any way, and they're going to be fun for kids to play with, so that's a good thing. Also, if you lift up the cockpit and take out the seat under it, you can actually store the blaster for the New Republic pilot. Overall, very nice ship, and I'm glad we finally got the E-Wing. Moving on to Shin Hati Starfighter. It looks great, just like the E-Wing. They both have just amazing color schemes that really pop out at you and aren't what you normally see in Lego Star Wars sets which is just so amazing I can't emphasize that enough the yellow and the dark red and the gray all look so good together this set also looks great and has some stud shooters hidden on top of there well I guess I wouldn't really say hidden but they look well enough that they're you know not hurting the design at all the ship also has a couple uh, storage areas Right in the front, it looks like in front of the cockpit, you can lift it up and put lightsaber in there or something else. That's always nice. And there is actually another storage area behind the cockpit where you could do you could put the lightsaber there too. Either way, it's always nice to have storage in these ships to keep all the little parts together. So good job, Lego. Overall, these ships just look great. I just can't believe how good they look. Like I was not expecting this at all. Like the colors, the designs, everything about them. It just looks like they put care into it. It's, it's so great. And now moving on to Ahsoka Tano's T6 Jedi Shuttle. Whew, this one has the same exact just feel of the other set. With the colors in that, it looks great. The people who designed these Ahsoka sets, just, one we just looked at in the Ghost, they just really care. Which is great to see because we don't always see that care in all the sets in LEGO Star Wars, unfortunately. Anyway, it looks like this set will be $80, have 599 pieces, and 4 minifigures. Doesn't look like too bad of a value here. It looks like the ship will be downsized from the old model, though. Not too much, but you can tell because the cockpit's a different piece from the old one. And it only fits one instead of two, like the old one. But anyway, let's get into the minifigures. So first up is Ahsoka Tano herself, and she has a new headpiece, which looks pretty good. It's definitely accurate to the show. Overall, good printing on the figure, and I love that we got arm printing. Always nice to see. Now, her lightsabers, though, I do wish were more of a white color, because I just don't think the clear really works, because, I mean, they're not clear, they're white. There's a pretty big difference there. Anyway, moving on to Sabine Wren, she's got a green lightsaber and as well as a hair piece and a helmet piece, which is very nice to see. She also has two blasters, so she's got she's completely kitted out here. Her figure is also great, and that's just a 
great amount of detail. And then next up is Professor Hugh Wang, and he's got a very fun, nice head uh, head mold. And I can't wait to get my hands on him. And the Inquisitor included in this set is Marok. I think I I hope I said that right. I don't know, but. It looks like he has the classic Inquisitor lightsaber, the circle with the two blades on each end, and this guy just looks really cool. He looks like an old knight, like with his helmet and that. I can't wait to get my hands on him too. So many good figures in this set. And moving back to the ship, as you can see, it spins around 360 degrees around the cockpit, which is a really fun feature that I loved from the first ship. It also has two stud shooters hidden there right by the cockpit on the inside of the wings. Those will be fun to play with for kids. It also looks like there's some like either storage or work areas on the back of the box. You can see Hugh Wayne is working on the ship. Another great thing, if you remember, I was talking about landing gears with the E-Wing. This one, well, I don't know if I guess I'd call it landing gears, but more of a, like a stabilizer. It just helps so when you set it down, it won't you know tip over as easy, which is nice. Overall, it looks just like another great ship, and honestly, this Ahsoka wave is looking to be just phenomenal. The E-Wing versus Shane Hattie's Starfighter, the T-6, and the Ghost, they all look great. The colors are fun, the sets look greatly designed, just perfect, amazing, good value on all of them. Yeah, I just can't wait. Let me know what you guys think down below about these, I'm really curious to hear. Uh, how many of you guys are going to buy these like first day because that's probably going to be me all right let me get it. let me know you guys see you